No complaints. We've been blessed. No, this is really nice. I mean, we've been talking about it. it really was like going back five or six days at this point last summer where it was like, okay, it's on. Yeah. And then from yeah. that point, it was triple digits almost every day. We had all those days above 105 as well. Uh, but this year we've had the rain. We've had the cool down. I mean, the triple digits are going to return. Come yeah. on. We're not even in August yet. So th they will return. But, you know, any sort of break that we can have from them, we'll gladly take it. And this has been an extended break. I mean, look at this. This goes all the way back to last Wednesday where we've been below normal. 101 was the high last Tuesday. Then we dropped to 88 degrees, 90, 92, 94, 86 yesterday, a high of only 88 today. And it might be, you know, through the rest of the week, this weekend, and maybe a day or two next week where we even stay below normal. I'm not saying it's going to be cool by any means, but we'll stay below normal. We have seen eight triple digit days so far this year, uh, so far this summer season. Where we end up, well, of course, that remains to be seen. At this point last summer, we had seen 15, and remember we ended with 55. That shows you just how hot the end of July was, all of August, and even into September. In 2022, we had 27 triple digit days on this date. We ended up with 47. But you go back a little farther than that, and we've had some pretty mild summers before this past two. We didn't have any triple digit days so far in 2021. We ended up with eight. We had two in 2020, where we ended up with nine. So I would say we're definitely going to add to that total, but I don't think that we're going to be able to catch 2023 or 2022 at this point, just given the weather pattern that we have shaping up for us. But I do have triple digits on the 14 day. We'll show you that here in just a little bit. Rain continues to fall across portions of North Texas, the Dallas area, seeing some spotty showers, but the heavier activity down in Ellis County, but especially around Midlothian, stretching down to Waxahachie. Ferris area seeing some rain from Rosser, Southern Kaufman County out to Kaufman County, Van Zant County in and around Canton, seeing some heavy downpours at the moment, a little pop up activity toward Greenville, out toward Sulphur Springs as well. Back into us, most of Johnson County now is dry. So the thunderstorms that were in southern Johnson County have moved into northern Hill County and Hill to Bosque County, where, where there continues to be a flash flood warning until six o'clock this evening. But you can see the rain is really let up in those locations, so that's good news. But there still could be some residual flooding issues uh, in that part of North Texas. So be aware of that if you live in that area or are driving north or south on 35 this uh, this evening, especially headed down toward Waco. Activity kind of basically just along and south of DFW at the moment. Some of it could continue to sneak up into DFW over the next several hours. So we'll keep some rain in the forecast for DFW to the south through the rest of the afternoon. Really, we're pretty much into the evening now. Through the rest of the evening, but once we hit the late evening hours, lose the heat of the day, all this will fizzle out overnight tonight. And as we start the day tomorrow, really not much in the way of rain uh, going to be around just tomorrow morning and not much during the day tomorrow either. I mean, your coverage tomorrow, pretty minimal. 10%, maybe 20% across southern areas. Much different radar view tomorrow afternoon than what we have out there at the moment. So that's why I'm going to go about a 10% coverage for DFW tomorrow. And then the rest of the week, I don't have anything you know, widespread or soaking. It's just 20% Wednesday, 20% Thursday, 30% Friday, Saturday, Sunday, some spotty to scattered rain possible the rest of the weekend of the weekend. DFW picks up maybe another tenth to a quarter of an inch. Some higher totals, some higher coverage for eastern and southeastern areas through the weekend where those totals could be a quarter to half an inch, if not maybe even some places picking up another inch of rain. For western, northwestern North Texas, your rain chances look pretty minimal the rest of the week and into the weekend. So there will be some rain out there and it'll keep the below normal temps around, but I'm not promising uh, just widespread soaking rain for everybody uh, starting tomorrow through the upcoming weekend. But tonight we'll have some isolated showers. 73 will be your low and then tomorrow mainly dry and muggy. It's also no zone action day, a high of 91. So even though we've been in the 80s the last couple days, even though we jump back into the 90s tomorrow and likely staying in the 90s through the upcoming weekend, remember our normal high jumps to 97 tomorrow as we start off what is typically the hottest time of the year here in North Texas, late July through the middle part of August. So anytime you see a temp below 97 degrees, that's a below normal day. The problem is, as we end July and head into August, it looks like we will be a few degrees above normal and those triple digits may make a return as we start August, but it is August and that is what we expect.